Gail used to be in finance, but this is her office now. She's mum to four-month-old Evan and two-year-old Connor. It's full on and it's full time. Connor, can you come upstairs, please? No! But this wasn't the plan. Gail only became a stay-at-home mum when she checked the cost of childcare. I was raring to go back and there was this kind of sinking feeling where it was, well, you know, why, what, what, why am I going to pay um, a person or, or, you know, or, or a nursery to look after my child full time and then just literally give them all my wages for that, for that month? In 2006, a part-time nursery place for a child under two would have set you back around £72 per week. Today, that same nursery bill would be £115 per week. That means childcare costs have gone up almost 60% in less than a decade. And someone like Gail, with two children under three, faces a bill of almost £12,000 a year. <laughs> but with an election in sight, childcare is political. Labour have said they'd up the free allowance from 15 to 25 hours a week. The government say the current provision is generous. We're building on successful policies and even at a time of austerity increasing our spending as about 50% from 2 billion to 3 billion on childcare, but also making sure that our plans are realistic and affordable. But affordable is a distant memory for these families at a day centre in Mansfield. The costs just keep going up. Christmas is always cut back. We're not going on holiday this year. The cost of the childcare, it's, it's alongside someone, it's alongside the cost of a mortgage. We wouldn't consider having another baby because then the childcare costs would be just be too high, so it wouldn't be worth working. Hey. Down in London, Gail is pleased she's raising her boys herself, but would have liked a choice about how much time she spends as mum. Dominic Reynolds, Five News.